So I'm gonna show you my morning stretching routine. I'm gonna stress this isn't a yoga routine, although there are some yoga poses. And this isn't something that you should use before a workout. This is just something to get you ready, get you started for the day. A really good way to wake everything up, get the blood flowing, get those mo uh, joints moving again. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna use a timer. I'm not gonna stick to 100%, but I roughly wanna know when 30 seconds is. Just gonna put that on now. So the first one, place your hands behind the head, take a massive deep breath in, and just push your hips forward and arch your back. You should feel a stretch along your abs. Oh, just take a few deep breaths. Close your eyes, big deep breaths. Good, from there, we're gonna go into the downward facing dog. So you're just gonna slowly curve your spine, just all the way down. You may have to bend your legs slightly, that's absolutely fine. I just want you to twist from side to side. Take a few deep breaths. Just relax, bend those legs a bit, extend them. Just big deep breaths the whole time. Just allow the, the spine to curve. Just move it around, however you feel comfortable with. There's nothing strict about this. Okay, then we're just gonna slowly move down into a downward facing dog. Okay, so the aim is to get your head through your shoulders, then just into a plank. So this is really relaxed, nothing too intense. Don't force anything. Big, deep breaths. You're then just gonna bring your left foot to your left hand. And you're just gonna drop your hips. So you feel the stretch along here and your hip flexors. And just move it around, take big deep breaths. We're keeping all these exercises quite dynamic because we're waking everything up, no static stretching. Breathing really deeply the whole time. Good, then we're just gonna switch sides, nice and carefully, right foot forwards. Again, move it around. The more you move your knee around, the hips around, just play around with that stretch, see where you feel it the most. Big deep breaths. It's one of my favorite stretches. Good. Then you can come back into that downward facing dog. You're gonna walk all the way back up. If you need to bend your legs, you can. Unfold the back all the way up. Just shake it off. Then um, go next to the wall. We're gonna do leg swings. These are really good for opening up the hamstrings, getting everything going again. Okay, so hand on the hip, one hand on the wall for balance, and we're just gonna start gradually swinging the leg forward, like so. Okay, gradually increase how high that foot is going each time, keeping the leg nice and straight. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, shake it off. Then we're gonna turn around and do the other side. So exactly the same thing. Just increase the range a bit more each time. Five, Four, three, two, one. Good. Give it a shake off. Stay nice and relaxed. Take a few deep breaths. Back onto the mat, onto the floor. Curve the spine all the way down. Then again, I'm gonna drop down into that down facing dog. It's really good for opening up the chest. Good, just bend side to side, stretch out those calves. Big, deep breaths. Okay, then you're gonna bring your left foot to your left hand again. But this time, you're gonna drop the back knee. Lift yourself up, both hands on the front knee, and then I want you to push your hips forward here. Squeeze this glute, and you're gonna feel a stretch in your hip flexor. It's just a small thing. You don't need to be arching the back. I don't want you to arch the back at all, actually. I want you to tilt your hips forward like posterior pelvic tilt. If you don't know what that is, check out some of my ab activation videos. But just feel that stretch in here. So I'm squeezing my glute, pushing my hips forward, tilting the hips up. Good, from here, you can extend the front leg 
And basically, you're going to reach towards your toe and push your hips backwards. Again, you're lengthening your hamstring here. Okay, if you just fold over like that, it's not quite as effective. So you can actually keep your chest upright. Just push your hips back, and you're going to lengthen your hamstrings in this position. Take a few deep breaths. Okay, you can reach forward if you like. Good. Then we're just going to come back up into that plank position. Right foot forward, drop the back knee, sit upright, both hands on your front knee, tilt those hips, push forward. Again, feel the stretch in the hip flexor. It might feel strange at first. Tilt hips forward, squeeze glute, and then you feel that stretch just in that hip flexor right in here. I've got really tight hip flexors, so I've got to do this quite often. Take a few deep breaths, keep squeezing. Okay, and you're just gonna extend that front leg. And remember, you're driving your hips back. And by doing that, you're lengthening your hamstrings. I'm feeling that quite deep right now, quite tight. Push those hips back. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Okay, you're then gonna come into this position here. We're going to do angry cat cow stretch, which is yoga, but it's really good for lengthening your spine and also getting control of your hips. So you're going to bring your chin in, curl your spine, and tilt your hips up towards your belly button. And then the exact opposite. It's all to do with the movement of your hips. And you're gonna stay in this position, and you're basically gonna do press-ups, but with your shoulder blades only, like this. If you sit at a desk, this is a really beneficial exercise to do. Okay, so notice how my elbows are staying straight. All the movement comes from my shoulder blades. I'm literally, right now, trying to squeeze and crack up between my shoulder blades. Good. Great, just gonna shake it off, stand up. We're gonna go for something called a Cossack squat next. So basically you're gonna have your feet as wide as possible. It's kind of like a single leg squat, but you're gonna feel this in your inner thighs. So if you've never done this before, just go down as low as you feel comfortable. The aim is to keep your feet nice and flat, and you just switch over to the other side. And you can lift your toes up towards the um, ceiling on each side. And you're just transferring the weight over. Remember, keeping things nice and dynamic, feeling that stretch in here. I'm gonna keep going. This is a really good one. Okay, so hopefully your body temperature is rising. Everything's nice and warm. A few more, three, two, and one. Good. Stand up, shake it off. Okay, then we're gonna do a deep squat. So you're gonna go down to a really deep squat position, keeping your feet and your heels flat. And basically you're gonna keep your chest up and you're gonna push out on your knees with your elbows. So you're really aiming to push those knees out and you can pulse up and down like so. Okay, if you're not able to keep your heels flat, you can place some, like a book underneath each heel and that will make it a bit easier to get into. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna stay on the ground to shake the legs off. We're gonna do a reverse plank. This is really good. We're gonna do bent legs though. Really good for stretching and opening up the chest. So you're gonna have your fingers pointing backwards, arms locked out. The first thing you can do is squeeze your shoulder blades together like that. Then using your hamstrings and glutes, you're gonna raise up, slowly come back down five times. Tap on the ground. Like so, really use those hamstrings and glutes to raise the hips up. Two more. Good. Relax there. Shake it off. Last two, we're just going to do arm swings, which is very similar to the leg swings. But you're just going to do both arms at the same time. Just open up the chest. Get the blood flowing in the upper body. Big deep breaths. 10, 9, 
eight, and you switch which arm goes on the top each time. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one. Place your fingers behind your head. We're just going to lean to one side and feel the stretch down the lats, like so. Just going to do five on each side. Good. Big deep breaths. Keep it dynamic. Feel the stretch. Switch sides. Good. Then other side. Three, two, and one. <sighs> Shake it off. So that's all finished. That hasn't taken longer than about five minutes. Um, you know, you don't have to do it every single morning. You don't have to do every single exercise. But just doing something to get the body going, get the blood flowing, get those muscles moving, will make a big difference to your overall flexibility and mobility.